We have our GED question of the day time again, guys. And look, another word problem. Y'all are probably sick of them by now. Um, but let's take a look together. At low, low hardware, you can purchase tiles for $2.45 a square foot. How much would it cost to purchase the tiles needed to tile a 15 foot by 11 foot kitchen and two 8 foot by 7 foot bathrooms? Okay, so clearly we're headed in the same vein we've been uh, for a while with our area perimeter type problems. I mean, we're looking at some rooms here. And we're just going to go ahead and assume these rooms are rectangular. Um, we have a kitchen. Let me draw it up here. Our kitchen is 11 feet by 15 feet. And again, when they don't specify, just assume a rectangle. And then they talk about these bathrooms, which are 8 foot by 7 foot. And I want you to be super careful because they hid a number from you. A lot of times students won't see a number when it's written in words. Uh, but I don't just have one of these bathrooms, I have two of them. So I'm just gonna write that I have two times whatever I get right here. I have two times this eight foot by seven foot bathroom. Okay, now, notice that what I'm looking to do with these rooms, I don't know if it's area or perimeter yet until I look at what I'm doing with these rooms. What I wanna do is I wanna get tiles. Now, I have a question for you. What do you do with tiles? Do you put tiles around the perimeter, the outside edge of a room? Or do you cover a room with tiles? Um, do you cover the whole area with tiles? Well, of course, your room would look pretty silly if you just line the outside edge of the floor with tiles. You would cover the entire surface, the entire area. That's a big clue that this is an area problem. Um, that I'm going to have to find the area here. Another big clue that this is an area problem is that my tile charges are 245 per square foot. Area is always measured in square units, whether it's square feet, square meters, square yards. Um, a square unit is a big hint that I'm looking for area here. So my first step here is I'm just going to find the area of um, the surface that I want to cover. Okay, so I'm going to first find the area of this kitchen, which is an 11 foot by 15 foot. And remember, when you have a rectangle, you can just multiply the two dimensions together to find its area. So let's see, 11 times 15 would be 165. And so for the kitchen alone, it's 165 square feet. Now, let's take a look at the um, bathrooms. Well, uh, the bathrooms are eight by seven feet. So to find area, you just multiply length and width when you have a rectangle, and I'd get 56 feet, or 56 square feet, I should say. Uh, but I don't just have one of those um, bathrooms. I actually have two bathrooms exact same size. And so that same 56 is gonna happen two times. And so I can just multiply that 56 times two. So for both of the bathrooms, it is going to be 112 square feet, two times 56, okay? So I got 165 square feet for my kitchen. I have 112 square feet for my bathrooms. Uh, what am I going to do with those two numbers? Well, I just want to put them together. I want to find the total. And so I'll add. I'll take my 165 square feet, add on my 112 square feet for the bathrooms. And I have, uh, let's see, 277 total square feet footage that I want to tile. Now, a lot of students just stop right here, all proud of themselves. I found the area of the kitchen and the bathrooms. And that's wonderful, but don't finish, uh, don't forget to finish the problem. Here I've been asked to find how much it would cost to purchase all the tiles I need. Now, I know that it costs $2.45 per square feet. I'm going to pay $2.45. And how many times am I going to pay that? Well, I'm going to pay that the same number of square feet that I have because I'm going to pay that price for each and every square foot. So I'm going to pay that 277 times. And it's three-digit multiplication here. Now's the time for a calculator, not my head. So let me do this in a calculator. 2.45 times 277. And if you had this problem on the GED, you would definitely have a calculator. 
and I get that it's going to be $678.65. Not quite as pricey as our fencing project in the last problem, but uh, still pricey. So that is the installation fee there, $678.65. If you have any questions about the problem, be sure to drop them in the comments.